this video is about an epic 160k FIA triangle. I struggled so much during this flight and I made so many mistakes but also saw some of the most beautiful scenery ever. Beautiful lakes, high peaks and it was overall just an awesome experience and I hope you enjoy the flight as well. So we are in the Southern Alps, it's springtime, it's a good looking day and I was kind of frustrated in the beginning even though it was just a nice flying day because I was expecting it, the day to be even better so you can see I just push along aggressively but here it kind of bites me the first time because I cannot find the thermal back there so I have to return where I climbed before and of course this cost me quite a bit of time so even though the day was good I thought it would be even better and I just pushed a bit too aggressive all over so in my mindset I was a bit I don't know how should I say restless I was just hoping for better conditions overall and I was not so satisfied I just should have reset my mindset and just should have gone with the day as it is and not just had a fixed idea in my head how it should be but still I managed to climb up here and um, before the big transition because it's really crucial to actually make base at this point otherwise you get low you lose even more time when you get low and possibly get even more frustrated even though it's just a beautiful gorgeous flying day with an absolutely awesome view you can see the lake down there and the really cool ridges in front so I arrive with quite a bit of altitude on the other side and again I'm a bit too pushy too aggressive I probably just should have climbed up and taken my time in order to get above the ridge because of course always above the ridge the thermal is stronger you move better, it, the, all the hot air collects in the slope and then triggers from the top. So it's often good advice to follow at least on the top of the ridge line. But here I'm pushing along, I'm just, I'm a bit I'm restless, I want to move, I don't want to climb. So I always think, yeah, there's a better thermal, but of course the better thermal never arrives, so I just look around but I do have to make some altitude as well because there's another big crossing coming up so ultimately at the end of the ridge I have no other choice but to climb up and yeah you can see me here taking a thermal it was not too bad um, I'm making up base again before this crucial transition and yeah I'm all ready to go so on the other side you see this this uh, mountain is a bit lower than the mountains we have been flying in so far and this often is quite a bit tricky because quite often it happens that you kind of drop into a stable layer and it's sometimes difficult to climb out from this spot. You can see there's some clouds above so I think I, I should be able to climb out. But I arrive just below the ridge height and this is not so good news for me so you can see I have to scratch it quite a bit so it would have been much easier to arrive above the ridge. I actually have to fly around the mountain to find a good thermal and still I'm scratching, I'm battling. But then ultimately I kind of reset my mindset and say, okay, just take the day as it is, take the thermal and I actually run into a really good cycle, which brings me above the ridge line, brings me above the mountain. And you can see it's really, bringing me up towards the cloud base and there's a beautiful nice cumulus cloud just uh, forming above my head this is really what you want and uh, yeah for once i'm in a good cycle i have a good thermal and this allows me to continue on into the chanta valley so so far i had been struggling a bit because i always thought the day would be even better and i just was a bit nervous and i pushed ahead but here I really cleared my mind and thought, okay, now is a new section of the flight, new mindset, just take the day as it is. And you can see there's a good looking, absolutely gorgeous cloud street in front of me, a super nice south face. And finally, I can actually let the speed bar talk. I can push it. I don't have to take every little rotten thermal. I can focus on the strong climbs and push ahead 
I don't have to be too conservative anymore and just uh, make up for some lost time before. In this section I always fly towards this little hill out in front. It doesn't look any spectacular but oh boy it always serves a really good thermal and this time was no different. You can see it's catapulting me up towards space in absolutely no time and I can continue my journey underneath the clouds. So this is really as good as it gets. It's quite strong. I can push along. You can see the clouds have this flat bottom. So that means they have a good strong thermal underneath them. And I just try to fly straight line as much as I somehow can and profit off the good lines so I don't have to thermal much and just push along this south ridge really trying to maximize my speed. You can see soon enough the clouds become a bit thinner because we are nearing the end of the ridge which is actually the first turn point of my triangle. So I still take my time here and there in order to climb as high as possible and take some altitude because I expect the thermals to be not so good ahead because the clouds are much smaller and much slimmer. So yeah, it's, we're getting close to the end of this ridge and it's the valley of Domodossola coming up. Believe it or not, sometimes we cross it. It's a huge crossing. But today I will turn around here. I just push out towards the last turn point and profiting of this good looking cumulus clouds. There are some wisps soon coming up. And I just take all the lift while I glide out, while I stretch this turn point to the max. And but ultimately I do have to turn around and you can see me flying back now. So on the way back it's again racing. We have just come this way so I already know how the air will be like. I can go fast, I can push underneath the clouds. It's really good flying. And while I fly along I can also think about the next move of this flight. So Soon I will try to cross the valley towards the right um, in order to set the next turn point towards the south. And I really have to think about where to cross the, the valley because I want to arrive relatively high on the other side in order to find a thermal. And you will soon see that uh, this will be actually quite difficult and I, uh, a bit spoiler, I will fail. But more to that later. So I see that there are some clouds forming more towards the, the valley and I'm happily taking these clouds because it means that I don't have to cross so or don't have such a big distance to cross when I take the last climb a bit more out into the valley. But you also see that I just fly straight line under the clouds so I'm a bit too aggressive and I should have probably taken my time and climbed up even higher. But I thought, hey, I got this, I will arrive high enough on the other side, no worries. And I actually do arrive above the ridge, as you will see shortly. But it also looks quite blue, if you see, and so far we had always good clouds. And if you look down into the valley, you can see a lot of trees, not many landing options. And the various days, super silent. So at the end, I find a little climb, I can climb, but it pushes me back out so there is kind of a valley wind coming up which pushes me out and ultimately I have no other choice than just to deck it and go back towards the south side so this was a big failure I could not connect on the other side and uh, luckily I did find a, a thermal on the other side again even though I was super low and uh, yeah so here I take my time I have to climb back up uh, I'm a bit bruised from this valley crossing attempt. Of course, this was not uh, good whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, so I have to think what I will do next. Um, should I try again? Should I fly back where I came from? So I'm trying to observe the other side and I can see that there is a cloud a bit further in. So not really where I tried, but one ridge further. So I think if I can go over there it should be possible to reconnect so I'm really maxing out my climb here but I still hesitate you will see I'll fly a bit to the left and then again to the left and a bit straight line um, but then I ultimately decide okay 
uh, this should work. I really want to try again, redeem myself, get up on this on the other side and continue the journey as I wanted before. And you can see now I arrive much higher. This is the ridge where I failed before and I push in one more ridge. There's a beautiful cloud on top of it. I'm quite confident that this should work and indeed it delivers. So I'm relieved. I can climb on the other side. I can reconnect and continue the journey. So you can see the conditions here are quite good. There's good looking clouds. But there are also quite nice valleys, I have to say, um, with a beautiful gorge at the bottom and trees all the way. So if you look in the next valley, trees all the way, no way to land, absolutely no possibilities. So I do take my time and climb up high enough because I don't want to go down there. Better be safe than sorry. Um, so yeah, we come to the end of this ridge and I climb up high enough in order to tackle the crossing of the Lago Maggiore as a next move. And if you want to know if I'm going swimming or if I make it to the other side and how the flight will continue, watch part two. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and see you next time.